I'm going to share a secret with you that I learned very early on in my coaching business when I first started, before I even worked with Rob. And this concept of positioning myself as a practitioner or an aspiring thought leader. So when I first started, everyone around me that I knew was charging by the session. And uh, that is a practitioner mindset. I was charging by the session. I was uh, maybe selling six packages, six session packages, but nothing really long term. And my work was very technique focused. It was focused on delivering a technique, not actually delivering a bigger result. And I was working locally. I had to work in person most of the time and I was trying to make ends meet. And what I was doing was working a lot of hours and basically making a good living. But I felt like I had to always show up. And if I was sick or I had to take a trip, uh, that's lost revenue. And so that practitioner mindset kept me small for a couple of years. And when uh, I learned about the thought leader mindset, everything changed because I went from charging by the session to actually charging packages and a program. Uh, instead of techniques, I created a system and developed a system that a client could step into and not working on putting band-aids on their emotions or, or fixing quick fix problems, but actually taking them on a journey, a, a, a real systematic journey of a long-term transformation. And another thing that I did was I shifted from focusing locally to focusing internationally and getting my name out there, getting a book published, doing videos on YouTube and thinking bigger about what is possible. And when you're a practitioner, yes, you get to work one-on-one -on -one and you get to help a handful of people. But when you're a thought leader, the potential is so much greater because you can reach more people and you can reach people all over the world. So when you're looking at your business, if you're a coach or a service-based consultant and you're trying to figure out how come things aren't working out or why is it so hard to keep uh, you know, the, the abundance in my life and the success in my business? Are you approaching your business from a practitioner mindset or are you approaching your business as an aspiring thought leader? So if you make that simple assessment, start making changes. And actually one of the biggest differences between a practitioner and a thought leader is that practitioners don't hire coaches. Thought leaders hire coaches. They hire a coach to help them go to the next level because their dreams are so big. Uh, a practitioner, you know, they, they have, you know, their little corner of the world that they want to help. And there's nothing wrong with that. But they're thinking more a smaller version of their contribution to the world. So it really is your choice. Are you a practitioner or are you aspiring thought leader? And if you are aspiring thought leader, step into something bigger. Hire someone to help you take you to the next level and really see your life expand and your heart and soulful work reach more and more people than you can have ever imagined.